process was very experimental in every sense, like conceptually experimental, visually experimental, and technically experimental. Maxon commissioned us to do a showcase piece for their new release of Cinema 4D R18. Um, they gave us a pre-release version from R18, so we were able to try out the new features early on um, in their development stage. Essentially the brief was to showcase these new tools that have never been seen before and just create like an, a wow, an amazing piece. Early on the only thing we kind of had in mind was that we somehow wanted to integrate nature into this and 3D scanning. We based uh, the project on our name, which is Man vs. Machine, so we quickly uh, came up with the idea of versus. You know, well, Man vs. Machine goes into Man vs. Nature, form vs. function, and then somehow it all ended up with animals just fighting. So the piece is broken down into four hero chapters. Chapter one is essentially where we introduce the battlers, we introduce the fighters. In the end we wanted to have a selection of different animals in there. We wanted to have a reptile, we wanted to have something from the sea or the water, we wanted to have a bird and we wanted to have a mammal. We wanted to just do animals that didn't have fur because we thought fur was going to be a pain. But actually we were really pleased with C4D's fur tools. Well we all grew like really fond of the animals at different times kind of became like part of the team and part of the family. Chapter two, this is the kind of hero battle scene. This is where yeah, all of the animals clash, they come together, their patterns go crazy and their patterns battle with one another. A lot of the patterns were inspired by the animals. Basically every animal has its own pattern. Uh, so for us, Nature is always a big inspiration as well and early on we were talking about animal sounds, using them as part of the music. And then sound design wise we kind of created a lot of the sounds from scratch and it was just, as I kind of said, like quite experimental at times so we kind of used some animal sounds and then just pushed them as far as possible so you don't really know they're animals anymore but they just kind of create these quite interesting natural organic kind of textures that we could then use in certain places. But also with the harmonic elements we kind of got in a lot of um, live horn players and got them to play kind of loud passages of music. <clears throat> As you start to kind of push these instruments they kind of start to break up so you get this quite interesting um, tone to the kind of the sound which actually reflected almost what the animals were going through in the battle. I guess just musically there were certain things we tried out that worked really well and then the visuals were then tweaked to that. Chapter 3 was the kind of, it was meant to be the finale of the film, we were meant to uh, trick the viewer into thinking this was that kind of climax moment, That's, it's all come down to this. One of the earlier influences was Dutch Still Lives, and so I really wanted to play with that moody lighting and atmosphere. We are super proud of, of the animals and how they look like. Um, we were quite happy with the result of the 3D scanning as well, since we also scanned quite a few of them ourselves. Well, it was just a single camera rig and we had a Lazy Susan for rotating the taxidermy. The, the softboxes have polarising filters on them to help um, sort of minimise reflections and specular. And, and then we just took 130 as sharp in, images as possible of the animals. Um, and that was the basic setup. It was really simple, but we were really pleased with the results. It came out pretty well. <laughs> Chapter 4 for us was, we called it Dalston. Dalston is the section where we try to break free from everything that we've established earlier. It just goes bonkers with this Dalston section, which is kind of a deconstruction of all the rules we had before. We wanted to integrate the new fracture object somehow, so we start by slicing up the animals in, in various chunks and then simulated that with a bullet solver in cinema. And then I did some processing and prototyping in Houdini. It's a bit like a piñata, uh, digital piñata. Cinema 4D has been our pipeline tool for quite a while now. And it was great to see what they developed and great to play around with the Fracture tool and the new MoCraft enhancements. This piece was just another example of showcasing what we can do with the software. <laughs> Hello, 
Tu pesas su calé.